you know, it's something that, that we need to do. But on on that note, we we slip that right alongside our tip and it says thank you. And quite often wife is better at it than I am. But when when we're in a restaurant or someplace like that on a holiday, she makes it a point to tell that person, thank you for working today so that I can enjoy the holiday. We we appreciate that. You know, just little things that God can take and you know, whatever the person reads into that, that's not for us to decide. God can take it from there. I did part of my part. I've left that message. Thank you. And they'll be going, oh, is this guy goofy or what? But, but that's up to the Holy Spirit at that point. And that's where you turn it over to the Holy Spirit. And you, you know, again, whatever you do, whatever you choose to share, however you share, care to react, and I know pastor jokes about uh, traveling in traffic and so forth. <laughs> Sometimes I get pretty bent out of shape myself. But uh, That's the best time I, I like his scenario. Pardon me? That's the best time to pray to the Lord. To the Lord. <laughs> That's true. And I like his little scenario where he, he keeps an apple beside his gear shift. And when he gets in one of his movies, he just takes a bite of apple and says, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <coughs> so my question today, these are things, the five things that I've mentioned, those are to help you develop a healthy root system, to be grounded, to be, be solid, and to make you a mature type Christian, so that when you go out, you aren't intimidated. You are grounded in the Word. You're grounded in prayer. And certainly you're grounded in the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're grounded in the fellowship. You know what that's all about. You draw from your brothers and sisters. And lastly, you participate. You're ministering in that respect. And so today I ask you, how is your root system? Where are you guys at today? Do you have a healthy root system? Because, again, when it comes back to the Great Commission, what are we trying to do? We're trying to sell Jesus. We're trying to sell Jesus. And I learned, again, having come from the sales backgrounds, many, many training sessions and so forth, they teach you, they teach you the things, that not only, they, first of all, they teach you a lot of product. You got to know your product. And so that's where the Bible comes in. We, we train in that respect so that we know the Bible, we know what we're talking about. And we, uh, we not only, you know, we, we just never retire, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We all have things to do. We never ever reach the age of retirement. And I know many of us are what we think is retirement. But in God's eyes, you're not retired. You've always got something to offer, no matter what it is. And I read a story just this week, too, about uh, a little old uh, lady that had written several books and so forth. But she somehow she became paralyzed. And they were asking her, how can you be so happy and so joyous and share God and love and all this kind of stuff? And her reply was, it's sometimes the only chance that I get to show and tell people about what God does and what he can do when I'm in the wheelchair. It's that I touch people's hearts that I would never, ever touch before, ever be able to speak to. And she said, that... That's where I get my joy. That, that, again, God has given him her that gift. And we all have gifts. So I urge you, to all of you, share your gifts, whatever they are. It's nothing more than a handshake or a smile. God uses everything. And I mean literally everything. I've done some things that are just absolutely goofy. But God uses it. And he takes it and uses it as long as you commit it to him. So my question again, 
how is your root system? And I ask all of you, throughout the week, throughout the, throughout the days, ask God to show you where you can be of use of service for Him, how you can glorify Him. And if you don't know this experience this morning, I invite you before you leave here this morning to ask Jesus to come into your heart, to forgive you of all your sins, warts you whiter than snow, and He will do that. And I guarantee you, when that happens, your life is changed forever. You feel that peace, that contentment that you've never, ever felt. And the world can't give that to you. It's something that only God, only comes from God. It's a God-given thing. And the last part of my topic this morning comes from, a, again, another little story of only one life. And I was just a, a little guy of, I don't know, six, seven years old, just in the grade school. And we had a little neighborhood store. You all remember how they used to have little neighborhood stores where a person would have kind of a convenience store in their living room or on their porch or whatever. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Some more do that you're just not, not admitting you're that old. I know. But anyway, we, I and some of my buddies would go in there periodically. And, and he was a Christian guy, thank God. He was a Christian guy, and I would go in there and we'd buy candy, sodas, or whatever. And but he had all these little signs, and I know some of you remember these signs. They were I don't know about nine by twelve, something like that, and they were usually painted in bright colors. And then they had sparkly little sayings on them that God loves you, and you know He cares for you, and so on and so forth. This one one thing has stuck with me over seventy years. And it says, only one life will soon be passed. Only, and I underscore only, only what's done for God will last. And friends, that is true. We're building, we're building a mansion over there. God's building it for us. And we're preparing. So I urge you, go out and do something today. Check your root system. Go out and do something for God today. Build, continue to add add crowns to your to your glory. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we pray this morning. Lord, as your word's gone forth, I, I just pray that something that was said or done prick the hearts, Lord, of those of the listeners. And Holy Spirit, we just pray that you again, just prick the heart of each individual that's here, Lord, and Talk to them throughout the weeks and months and years ahead. Where they can be of service to you your way. Not our way, but your way. And do the things that you would have us to do your way. Father, we just love you this morning and we commit this to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You wasn't even anybody unruly, so thank you. <laughs>